they say, all the discomfort of the world comes from the lack of the substance of purity. Thoughts of imprisonment of faults, thoughts of merits of flaws, thoughts of contaminated guilt conforming to what's considered virtuous, rising and falling like the fads of indoctrinated generations. As we scroll through the processions of Akashic cellular unconscious suppression of what's considered pure and impure and unfold in the unraveling of the continuous struggle against the self. While fundamental basic biological processes are labeled as impure, which constitutional sphere of the one infinite mind has managed to label what's pure and impure? Is not in which way we express all human behavior connected to our purity and ultimately our consciousness? Or are acts to be done in the absence of consciousness to be deemed as impure? So what substance are we really lacking here? How about the inability to mentally override the compulsions of one's body? That the triggers of the flesh, of our bestial ways, are in connection to the unconscious dimensions of our self and as the unconscious dimension of self, a holy self. Oh, quite the receptacle of shadow absorption of the unclean, adulterated, carnal, bestial and boastful, corrupt, unabiding citizens of the seven laws of Noah. How? Does one see their actions in the grave? Elohim of purity. It's never too late to purify your heart. Oh, with the go away at the kitty at the kitty. Um, the way at the kitty at the kitty. Um, the um, the um, the um, the um, the um, the Oh, with the go away at the kitty at the kitty. Um, go. And I welcome you to a purification invocation of the cosmic white rose, any of the wild or cultivated, indifferent, prickly stemmed beauties giving way to rise, elevate, and increase internal value of the substances of your worth, quantum fractal radial light and crystal seed forms of your infinite supply as pure source light, integrating and moving through your central nervous system, awakening that which already is encoded inside. Just like Christ arose from the dead from his crucifixion, one too shall walk through the tunnel of fire, transformation, and transcendence. Where your survival is your innocence. Our benevolent messianic prophecy to be fulfilled. Star seeds of Aldebaran, grail lines of Melchizedek, indigos of the Emerald Covenant, descendants of King of Solomon anointed ones, world saviors, emancipators, all extinguishers, and guardians of the Godhead, guardians of Gaia and humanity, guardians of the galactic alliance. We set the intention for these prayers to be heard, be felt, and be moved through the emotional, spiritual, and astral vibrations of implanted momentum into the kingdom of heaven on earth, into the golden age of global universal peace, and into the garden of the twelve fruits of the cosmic tree. You know, the golden age, a period of primordial peace, harmony, stability, and prosperity. 
where people did not have to work to feed themselves because the earth provided food in abundance. Most lived to a very old age with a youthful appearance, eventually dying peacefully with spirits living on as guardians. O oh, sweet angel of glory and angel of prayer, Sandalfin carries these psychic whispers and plants them firmly into the androgynous Albion body human template, into the 12 spheres of the eternal tree of life, buried deep in the lower dimensional morphogenetic fertile fields of earth, from the original cosmic blueprint, waiting to be awakened waiting to stir the pot of potentials of elemental, primordial, angelic human, adjuring them to ascend as an orb to the supreme king of kings, divine intelligence, Shekinah, Metatron, Sandalfin, and transformational flames of Elohim. Hear this cosmic rose from the womb of mercy. As you purify, you make right, Revelations is the awakening, and purification is a new level of continuous revelation. Allowing this invocation to unfix the self-ascended crucifixion implants to be released. Restoring one's innocence, inner vitality, chastity of the child that was given the philosophy as a seed. Immaculate union of spirit inside. Ceremonial and ritual cleanliness, because cleanliness is next to godliness. Freeing one from the rigorous wave infusions of hell on earth, from the vanity of contaminating nature, from the shame of our hatred for sin, from the fears of a mortal man of iron, and worries that there is not enough of the material world to go around for all servant to the materialistic economic system and blind allegiances at the expense of our own planet. Freeing oneself from submissive misled distortions from micro to macro conceptualization that they are not anything less than worthy of love, abundance, existing in free states liberated from the chains of slavery, addictions of suffering, and psychological, biological warfare pollutions. I invoke and call forth from within my being the higher harmonics of our Holy Trinity Divine Union, triangulating my ego to my soul to my monad, and Antikarana primal life force current. I awaken and summon the ambassador for the golden age, a call to Astria, the celestial virgin who abandoned the earth during the Iron Age, fleeing from the wickedness of humanity, the goddess of purity who ascended to heaven and became the constellation Virgo, whose impeccable modesty is to one day come back to earth and bring with her the golden age and the beasts of the constellations, the twelve tribes of Israel, the twelve angelic human tribes, the legions of the circle and sword and blue flame, legions of purity, legions of white fire, white doves, white wind, scales of justice, and the emerald covenant teachings. Calling from within my avatar, calling from within my Albion body, Calling from within my cosmic sacred white rose, my purest elevation of union of the sacred within me. I seek to purify my mind, my body, and my spirit. I seek to walk in the greater knowing of the ever-knowing love and peace of the shining over light and tones and quantum of our Mother Father God, Helios and Vestas. I seek to clear all inside of me that I dream as impure. I seek to clarify all of me that I deem as impure and vow to know that anything deemed impure is only shadow of my consciousness and is not a reflection of the true greater purity of my childlike essence, of my virgin self that I am allowed to be and feel. I am virtuous, I am immaculate, 
I am modest. I am forgiven. I am an innocent heart of a child. I am a child of the one eternal God. I am purity. I am an ever unfolding miracle of creation. I am regenerative. I am bioregenesis.